I've been a notebook gamer for the past seven years. Around 2004, I began looking for a computer to take to college. And I conveniently came across this line of special computers from Hewlett Packard called the ZD7000, which was basically a high-performance notebook PC line. Uh, I had actually been looking for either a tower and a, and a laptop, but when I came across this line, I was amazed with how, how fantastic the specs were. They were a 3.4 GHz processor, which is pretty good in, th in those days. This was right before dual-core processors were released, so it was probably top-of-the-line notebook back then. So I picked up one of these, and I've been sold ever since. Uh, a lot of people ask me why don't ju I don't just get a, uh, a high-end desktop and a notebook, uh, a lower-end notebook, and take that to class. And I have a lot of reasons behind that. Um, I usually work on the go. I need to be able to bring my computer around. You know, I do a lot of video rendering and uh, recording, as you can see, from my YouTube channel. So every single day, I can take my laptop, fold it up, take a mouse, take a um, take a power cord, and just basically take my work wherever I want to go. My world is my office, my world is my playground. I can take this you know, to my friend's house to have some fun, we can have a LAN party together, it's a lot more simpler than you know, lugging around a tower and a monitor and a keyboard. Uh, I can go to a Starbucks and you know, sit there and render my videos. I can pretty much do anything I want with this computer. I'm not tied down by wires, uh, except for maybe the power sometimes, but I'm not tied down. So I can basically work anywhere if I have an assignment where I have to, you know, go to another state, I can just put the laptop in my backpack, just throw it in the back of my car and go. Uh, seven years and 550 videos later, I still think I made a pretty good choice when I bought my first gaming notebook, and that's why I'm a notebook gamer.